Good morning and welcome back to the channel. I have been pretty busy. <laughs> this, um, I made this because I went through a few different iterations of what I thought I wanted to do. I'm going to just rest it here for a second. Um, realistically, uh, all I want to do is get 12 volt power out of a 48 volt battery. Now there's already a voltage reducer in the, in this golf cart. This is a, um, I guess I should start by telling you what it is. This is an Evolution Classic 4 uh, golf cart. I've had it for a few years, a um, couple of years. Um, and in order to add any accessories to it, well, you need 12 volt power. There's already a reducer down there, but it's a pretty puny one. Uh, and what I don't like about it is it doesn't have a fuse box attached to it. So I would have to put a fuse box in line with that. But in order to do that, I kind of have to modify the existing harness, um, which uh, it's kind of a, a pretty difficult fitting to find. And realistically, that voltage reducer is actually not a very good one. Um, it goes from 48 to 12, and it's just meant to kind of run the um, the, the head unit here um, and maybe a couple other things like lights and things like that. So I didn't want to overwhelm that thing with uh, the additional accessories that I kind of am thinking of adding. So while adding a fuse box to it would probably be okay, I don't think that's really the good solution. The good solution is probably an additional uh, uh, converter. So I bought this one on Amazon. I think it was only uh, like 30 bucks or something like that, but uh, 48 to 10. Um, and I also added this really nice fuse box to it and uh he tricked everything kind of connected them correctly and uh, and whatnot there i already got one fuse in there um and just as a as kind of a test fit and then what i did was i uh believe it or not it's kind of tough to find good uh 10 gauge wire uh anywhere kind of locally at the store uh so what i did is I actually went to had this ingenious idea all right so i went to harbor freight and I bought myself a set of jumper cables for 10 bucks. And uh, it gave me 10 feet of, of 10 gauge cable, but it also gave me, if you look down here, I'm kind of a spoiler, but um, I basically took the, the clips that it came with and I fashioned them into um, connection rings using just a pair of snips. It worked out really well because it's a really nice clean wire. It was meant for, a, you know, a, a, high current application. So it should work really well. On this end, I just crimped a couple of um, terminal connectors to it. And the idea is I'm gonna add connect this to the main battery, but I'm gonna do that up here. Uh, so I'll do it to that connector right there and that one right there. Those are the main ones from the battery. And then while I was at it, I added 250 volt, um, I'm sorry, 250 amp fuses to it. Honestly, you only need one, but I kind of needed a nice connection point. So I was like, all right, these things are really cheap and it will make it look really cool too. So I did that, a couple, couple of uh, uh, clips here to kind of tidy it up. And I've measured it to give me a little bit additional slack. Plus I made this base just out of some uh, three quarter inch plywood, uh, actually half inch plywood. I would have probably used three quarter if I were to do this again, honestly. Um, and you see these two screws that I've kind of got at the bottom. Those will fit that, the, the frame screws perfectly. And I'm actually going to put this in the, in the plastic battery tub that, uh, was already in there. So just to give it a one, one additional layer of kind of insulation, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I used pocket, like two pocket screws on this end and three pocket screws on this end. This thing isn't going anywhere. It's like super stable. I know it doesn't seem like uh two half inch plugs of wood on top of each other would be very stable but with five uh pocket screws you're you're definitely gonna uh, have enough stability and then i really liked uh again not to compliment myself too much <laughs> but i really like how this worked out um basically i got the line coming in from the rear going through the board and then uh going to the uh, voltage uh, reducer and then from that, and it's actually, that came with its own fuse. And then that goes in line into uh, this uh, fuse box. And now from now on, all I have to do is just tap into this fuse box for any additional um, 
uh, accessories that I want to do. Um, one idea to do it differently, one idea would be to, instead of putting the fuse box here, maybe do the same thing, but take your line out and then run it under the cart into here and maybe create a fuse box in here. The thing with this space is it's already such a spaghetti of wires and I'm in the middle of doing some stereo nonsense in there too. I figured I'll just put it here because um, it's just a lot cleaner and it looks so bitchin'. Look at that. So cool. Um, yeah, this whole setup probably cost me less than 50 bucks. Uh, right around 50 bucks. Um, maybe 60 actually, if you count the, the 10 bucks I spent on, on the jumper cables, but I have most of that left over and I'll use it for other projects. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna put it in and uh, show you what it looks like. Okay, so here's the finished product. It's fully installed. As you can see, it's sitting in that original plastic tray down there and the, the wooden base is in there. It's already bolted in from underneath. Um, it is it is solid. It doesn't move nothing. I mean, you know, obviously I'm moving the wood a little bit, but um, super sturdy. And I've wired it in already, measured the voltage. It is putting out 13 volts, not 12. That's a little strange because I would have expected this voltage reducer to be pretty exact to 12, maybe 12.6 or something like that. But coming up, put it out exactly 13.0, which is fine because... Uh, I'm not running anything that's like that sensitive to 12 volts um, off of it. In fact, it's probably a little better. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy with the way it turned out. It is a pretty uh, clean setup. And now what's really nice is I can open this guy up, wire in new components and accessories and things like that without having to worry about overloading anything. I would say if you're not gonna do this, the other next best thing that I've seen people do is just pop in a 12 volt battery in here and just charge it when you're charging your uh, golf cart. Honestly, I'm a little divided. That may still be the better way to go, but in either case, you're gonna need um, a um, fuse box. Uh, and if you're gonna have a fuse box installed and then an additional battery, this whole setup cost me 60 bucks. A good, a good 12 volt battery will cost you a minimum of that. And you still need the fuse box, you still need the wiring, you still need all that stuff. So I, I kind of like this and, and I don't have to charge two things now. I just charge the big battery and then um, I have unlimited, well, I have a seemingly unlimited supply of 12 volt until obviously I kill the big battery. But um, yeah, let me know what you think of this uh, setup guys. Um, I'm I'm super happy with it. <laughs> it took me a long time to kind of get it figured in. I know there is a company out there that put uh, puts out a metal plate um, that you can install there. Honestly, if it didn't cost so much, I would have probably gotten that. But I'm glad I went this route because it gave me the freedom to kind of do my own thing. Um, and uh, is super well protected, as you can see. Um, you know, overprotected actually. Again, you don't need both those fuse boxes. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty slick. And I think the last thing I'll do is probably just zip tie this down here, um, just to keep it from, uh, flopping around too much. I gave myself plenty of, uh, slack because what's nice about this, so that's, this is another thing that's nice about it is let's say I want a few, uh, uh, wiring and a new accessory, which I'm about to do probably this weekend. Uh, I want to put in some some lights. Um, when I want to do that, I could just undo this fuse box because it's pretty accessible and put in my lights. Or I could just take the whole thing out, set it here, wire it in, then put it back and bolt it down. So I, it kind of gives me some freedom uh, to do that. Um, yeah, would love to hear your thoughts um, on how I got this wired in. If you need any details, I will post all the product links in the description. There really isn't a whole lot. Just remember, I, I bought the jumper cables at Harbor Freight, $9.99. Best freaking deal ever. And I, and I still have plenty of that left over and two really nice clips that I can use for other things. Um, so yeah, for about 60 or so dollars, um, 
you get yourself a nice accessory patch and panel that's what very well protected at 13 volts apparently <laughs> so um thanks again for tuning in and uh leave your comments love to hear from you click that subscribe button